All right, now we're jumping into the various rhythms. We're going to start with sinus rhythms here. In our rhythm interpretation unit, we preached about a stepwise approach, and we're going to use it as we start looking into the various rhythms, okay? Now, the requirement is that the to be a sinus rhythm, the impulse has to come out of the SA node, and that's it. You can have a sinus rhythm with a bundle branch block. You can have a sinus rhythm with a first degree of your block, sinus rhythm with a second degree of your block. All we're saying with sinus is that the impulse starts in the SA node. A normal sinus rhythm is a particular type of sinus rhythm where the rate is between 60 and 100. If it's less than 60, it's sinus bradycardia. If it's more than 100, it's sinus tachycardia. If it's between 60 and 100, it's normal sinus rhythm. But you can have a sinus rhythm with lots of things. How do you know if it's a sinus rhythm? Well, I think you already know this. The P wave is upright in 1, 2, 3, AVL and AVF, and it also must be inverted in AVR. That is normal have an inverted P wave in AVR, it is a sinus rhythm if these things are, are, are true. That's it. Um, sinus node P waves, again, they're upright, 1, 2, 3, AVL, AVF, negative in AVR. Here's a picture showing that. Notice on the right side in the, 12, in the uh, chest leads, precordial leads, you'll have a biphasic P wave is, is not abnormal in V1, V2, um, but really the definition is based on the left side, the limb leads. It is upright. In one, two, three, AVL, AVF, and it is inverted in AVR. So, yes, you can have a sinus rhythm with an AV block, sinus rhythm with a bundle branch block. You can have conduction system delays and issues. You can have extra beats, ectopics that can come in early and look weird. All sinus means is that it came out of the SA node. So a lot of times your ECG interpretation analysis, the final statement you make, will start with sinus rhythm with and then you'll have other things you add to it. Sinus arrhythmia is a particular rhythm that's got a variable ventricular rate. It is, it is irregular, and there's a pattern to it, but you can't really tell it's sinus arrhythmia unless you can watch the patient breathe. As the patient takes in a deep breath, interthoracic pressure increases. There's some pressure on the vagus nerve, and the rate slows a little bit. As they exhale, that vagus stimulation is taken away, and they, the rate comes back up. So the rate will change based on their breathing pattern. This is normal, it's no big deal. A lot of young people have it. When I was in paramedic class way back, shortly after the pilgrims landed, we had a very old monitor and I was very bored and I would put myself on the monitor every morning and I would have sinus arrhythmia. It's not an abnormal thing really. Um, there's no drop beats. It's just a little bit irregular and it has sinus P waves. Sinus exit block, we already kind of talked about back when we were talking about skipped beats and dropped beats. Um, and in this case, there's no P wave that doesn't conduct. A P wave that doesn't conduct, a dropped beat, has got to either be a non-conducted PAC or a second degree AV block of some type. So, I don't know. Hey, so here's a plug for life in the fast lane blog. Now, this, this is high-powered stuff. These are um, up and... And, and running really top-notch uh, ER docs and intensive care docs, critical care medicine docs, and they talk over my head about half the time, but there's some really good stuff in there, and these guys tend to boil it down to what you need to know and say it in English. So if you want to check out Life in the Fast Lane, that might be something to kind of add to your list of things you watch, and uh, I just purely stole this quote directly uh, from them. And so you can have sinus pauses or exit blocks where there is no P wave. It's not dropped. There is no P wave. There just is a irregular pause in there. So I can see if you're looking at sinus arrhythmia and you're looking at sinus exit block that those might be confused. The differentiation would be sinus arrhythmia is going to be a pattern matched up with the patient's breathing pattern, whereas the sinus exit block and sinus arrest stuff is not. So. Does Mrs. Smith need you to know this? I don't think so. Does the registry trivia exam want you to know this? Maybe. So, you know, this may be R-rated, but here it is in the G-rated material. So what's going on? Well, the sinus uh, pause or exit block, the impulse makes it to the AV nose or doesn't even make it out of the SA node. That's what they're trying to show there. So. Normal sinus rhythm rates between 60 and 99. Because 100 and over is tachycardia, there's no prolonged PRI. 
If it was, we would say it is a sinus rhythm with first degree AB block. So normal sinus rhythm implies that the rate is normal and there's nothing else weird. It's a normal sinus rhythm. There are, there's a P for every QRS, a QRS for every P. There are no dropped beats, um, and so normal sinus rhythm. I want you to have ECG in motion. If you don't get it, that's cool. You can watch it in class. This is to remind you, you really want to look at normal sinus rhythm on the ECG in motion. I don't feel like it's fair to, um, you know, to put those in the video uh, because it really is their, their product. Um, sinus tac um, would be a sinus rhythm, so it meets the criteria for the P waves being upright in the limb leads except for AVR. The rate is more than 100. There's no PRI, there's no drop beats, nothing weird. Again, check that out on um, ECG in motion. Sinus bradycardia, just kind of the opposite. The rate's just less than 60. This rhythm stuff's looking kind of easy now, probably. Okay, sinus rhythm, <clears throat> upright P waves in lead one, two, three, AVL, AVF, inverted in AVR. There's no drop beats. There's um, possibility you could have extra beats, and at topic beats, you would say it's a sinus rhythm with PVCs or sinus rhythm with PACs. That's fine. You can have a bundle branch block. You can have an, an AV block. You have a sinus rhythm with first degree AV block. You can have a sinus rhythm with a right bundle branch block. You just couldn't say <clears throat> that's a normal sinus rhythm with a first degree AV block. That would not be true. It might be irregular. So sinus rhythms can be irregular if there was a sinus pause or exit block or you had sinus arrhythmia. That's kind of the summary. Uh, again, look at ECG in motion. We'll put some links in the in the uh, regular course once you start classroom stuff to Rob Terrio's stuff and uh, get real solid with basic rhythm interpretation before you get off on on more advanced stuff from Dr. Matu or anything like that. Get really, really good at RPM before you dive into other stuff.